Hey, Bobby Lee here. I'm going to be at the Helium Comedy Club September 26th through the 28th in Portland, Oregon. It's one of my favorite clubs of all time. Mm -hmm. Please check me out then. I'm also going to be at Levity Live October 11th through the 13th in Oxnard, California. Check it out then. And then um, October 18th through the 20th, LOL, San Antonio, Texas. That's good for right now. <laughs> Guys, check out those dates at BobbyLeeLive.com. Enjoy the show. I'm, not, I'm getting my vocal exercises done. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, aye. Beep, beep, beep. Aye. 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 Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Sika, sika, sika. Sika, sika, sika. Got that out of the way. It's out. One, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, ten, ten eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, that's all I memorized. 13? Because you only need those 13. The rest of them are obsolete. So let's let's go into uh, my mind and let's get into the moment and let's figure how we're going to open this new uh, podcast. So mm -hmm. here we go. Everybody. But anyway, let's move on. Five, four, four three, three, two, two run. Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. I'm your Captain Bomb. My beautiful, beautiful princess here, Kalila. I don't know if she loves me or hates me half the time. But I'm going to just read into whatever her look is, and her look is basically like, let's move on, fatty. <laughs> That's her look. We got another one right here. John, John, huh? right? You're the best in the business. And let me say something. You know what? From the side, you look like Chow Yun Fat. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I, That's a compliment, I see it. right? No, I see yeah. it. I'm not even fucking joking. Wow. Not when you face on. Face on, you look like gook. <laughs> but when you look at me, look at me straight on, Chow Yun Fat, turn. That, wow. that Viet, it. yeah Vietnamese guy that got shot in that photo. <laughs> so it does not, okay. what a, that one that what a Vietnam, turn. What a whatever, whatever. You have both looks. Is all I'm saying. Thank you. Chinese Hollywood star. <laughs> he goes. She, he go, goes. He's good. He, you know that. what he just said? He goes. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, but anyway, you need to work on your thank yous. But it's good to see you, George. Good to see you, bud. And uh, my beautiful Kalila, and you too, Gil. He said Popocatepetl. It's a Mexican volcano. I don't know. I, no, right? I was Whatever. definitely saying Akatakatakapo. Yeah, what were you doing there? I was trying to speak your language. It's not it. Did I get the. Everything. Okay. That sounds closer to Bisaya than it is. It's more Bisaya. Yeah. It is more Bisaya. It's not it. And you know what? I shouldn't ridicule you because you took a risk. I did. You go, you know what? I'm going to throw out a little language thing because Bobby mm -hmm. was doing it earlier. I tried. You threw it out there. It failed. Let's move on. Okay? Okay. All right. Welcome. Give Gilbert a run. <laughs> Everyone, you too, John. <laughs> okay, she, now. Here we go. You're not doing it. I refuse. Why? Why? Why won't you do it? It's, I'm trying to be positive about this experience. It's idiotic. It, it's dumb. I get it. I get, I get it. it. I get it. It's dumb. You know what's dumb, too? I'm 48 now. I turned 48. Couple hours. Not yet. In a couple hours, and um, I just want to make some announcements because it isn't actually the day. Um, whoever made up this saying, it's the thought that counts, is a piece of shit. Because it's not the thought that counts. If you give me a gift that's not over $150, nice. $200, fuck your thoughts. <laughs> nice. Fuck your thoughts, okay? So I just want to let you guys know, if you honestly, if you bought me a gift, and you're doing, you're gonna say it's the thought that counts. I appreciate it. You take your soap, or whatever Socks. the sock that you got me, yeah. Steve, or whoever it is, right? Sandals. And you keep it for yourself, right? I'm in it for the big game, all right? Electronics. What are you? What do you? What do you want? Give us a list. Okay, so I want um yeah, anything from Golden Goose. Jesus. Anything. Anything from there. Okay. Montclair, anything from Montclair. Oh my God. 
Yeah. Hey, do you want to do, uh, do you want to go on a gift together? Uh, yeah, all of us. All of us chip like in. I don't know what. I should call my. We sister. could chip in, right? Dude, if eight people got me like a what about one <laughs> golden goose shoe, yeah, like a pair of shoes, I would cry gratitude. <laughs> That's because in my head they thought about it. They pulled their resources together. <laughs> they couldn't individually do it, but they gave me, you know. Okay, and those else, thoughts are great. What else? Those thoughts are Montclair, Golden Goose. Montclair, Golden Goose. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you have a two. You oh, got no, all right. Five. Right, 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 right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> just, I don't care what it is. Just look. No, how about Fine. this? Don't look at what it is. Look at how much it costs. Okay. Because even price. if it's a fancy spoon, and I look at it, I Google it. Oh, this is the titanium steel, the one that adamantium, the one that Wolverine has their bones. Mm-hmm. Then the, I go, oh, they make spoons out of it too. How fancy. That's smart. I could just double purpose your birthday gift into something I really need for the kitchen. What is it? Very smart. That's Lila. a smart one. Very smart. But now that I know that you're doing that, you yeah. can't do that now. So I could get the stand mixer no. that I want. No, I don't want that. <laughs> it's for cakes. I don't though. want it. it is, I can show you the price tag. It doesn't matter. Then I get it, to enjoy that's it. You, okay, how about this? <laughs> so you can get me, you can, uh, last clause, okay? You can get me anything above 150 but you can't touch it ever. But you haven't given me many things. A list. The Golden My Goose. Dick, I already baby, got you that's that. That's expensive. I already My got dick. you. I got you the most expensive thing at Golden Goose last year. You're right. Is it a jacket? You know, I was really just making a joke. You know what? The thought does count. If you want to give me like the butterfly wing or that you found on the trail, whatever you were hiking, and you saw a dead butterfly and you see half of the wing, you clip it. And you want to frame it and give it to me? I won't hang it, but you know what? The thought's beautiful. You know, my parents. I, <laughs> right, it's a beautiful. I've I told this you. story before, but that's exactly what I was humiliated when I was about seven years old. Why? Because it was my sister's it, eighth. Uh, it was my sister's. It, wait, it has nothing birthday. to do with Jewy, though, right? Not. What? No, we've talked about Jewy yeah, yeah. here before. Too. I know, but do not bring up Jewy right now. Don't because it's gonna make me cry. Jewy Je- uh, was Jewy. Jewy. Uh, FYI. <laughs> Is fucking. I'm nervous. Bullshit. All right. Joey was special. Okay, you know. Okay, so you know, when you grew up, John. Let me ask you, John. Yeah. John, when you grew up, right? Mm-hmm. You're Korean, correct? Yes. Gansam. Yeah. Gansam to you, my friend. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Gansam nida, but half. Gansam. Thank you. So when you were growing up, um, how do you feel? My what my thought was. What pets? Oh yeah, the pet. Pets. What kind of pets did you? Do? I had a turtle, pet turtle. There we go. Pets. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, if you said to me, um, "I have a pet turtle and I miss," what's his name? What was your pet Max. turtle? Max. Mm-hmm. Aww. Yeah. You miss Max? I'd no. be like, "Oh, yeah. you miss him?" Sometimes. Do you but really? I only had it. It was only alive for like six months. Oh wow! Yeah. Why? Why? It, it turtles live forever. Yeah, that's the. How long do turtles live forever? Right. Not if Chow Young fats your dad. Yeah. Oh shit. He ate it. He ate it. He ate, he ate it. He ate the turtle? No, it was. I just came back. I uh, just saw it one day. It was upside down. <laughs> you fucking Aww. asshole. Looks like someone's. How dead. easy is it to fucking take care of a turtle, you fuck? How did you. <laughs> well, I was only in third grade, so. Oh, that's I wasn't true. the most responsible kid. Okay, that's fine. So, your turtle. If you miss your turtle, Max, I would understand. Right? Mm hmm. You, who, Jerry? You know what, Jerry? Let me, get, let me ask you, what do you think Jerry was? And I'll give you 100 bucks right now if you, you answer. What animal? What, what kind of animal? It's a pet. So just if you could guess what kind of pet it was, animals are broad. I'll give you hundred dollars. It's very broad. Animal, hundred bucks animal in cash. might be subjective. So, so, I'll pay your so, kid's college tuition so if you guess it. She lived in the Philippines, and that's all you get. <laughs> that's that's all you get. Doesn't help him at all. Give up. Just, give up. Just yeah, give up. Give, give a shot. Give a shot, John. Jewy, right? Is one ramen noodle. <laughs> Hold on, it was a pancit noodle. <laughs> It's a pancit. Don't the reason why you couldn't guess it, <laughs> because it was impossible to guess it, because <laughs> no that. one's had that before. Yeah. Does it breathe, Bobby? It No. Oh. How long did you have the pet for? Wait, uh, get this. She put a fucking leash on it. It was a piece of string. It wasn't a she real leash. She put a fucking leash. You know, you know, can I just say this right now? That's That's when you put your kid into Arkham Asylum. <laughs> that's when you go, no, this is, you know... Harley Quinn as a baby. <laughs> we cannot let this loose. Mm. Why? Because she has a pet ramen noodle. <laughs> so you see pet ramen? They'd be like, oh, the authorities would be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's lock her up next to the <sighs> the scarecrow man. Whatever. <sighs> yeah, we lived for exactly twelve days before my sister never smashed him with her shoe. <laughs> And then the pancit noodle was no more. How old were you again? Um, you know, to, I honestly think oh my I God, conducted. You were in high school. No. You were in high school. <laughs> she was nineteen. Oh my God, she was nineteen, and I was, that's I was what the, that's where the shame was is. Probably nine. And get this, it wasn't too long after I was molested, so I think that it should. Okay, okay, cut. This is a Christian show. <laughs> cut that. What molested? What was that? Pet ramen, and then yeah. So, so you were molested by whom? Your I uncle. I think it was a coping mechanism. No, your cousin, no, right? Did right. My old, much older cousin. Yeah. Uh, he was already like eighteen, a teenager. I was nine. Master blaster. Okay. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know what that cousin did? Right. Blast oh. blast. Yeah. Awful. He he <laughs> stole my other parakeet, Courtney. Okay. You all know. Right. All right, John, stop back. And back stole up. Stop. Courtney. No, 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 stop. He's turning red. Bob. You know she was no named. No fucking way. <laughs> None of this is real. <laughs> Courtney. You, first of all, what kind of pet line. Wait, up wait, is wait, this? wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me that you had a pet ramen? Named Joey. <laughs> Joey. And, right. And then. And then a bird. Mm-hmm. What? Courtney. Fuck uh, Courtney. Because I was Parakeet. really into hole when I was nine years old. What's hole? Live through this. A Courtney Love. Oh, I thought you I thought you had a hole as a pet too. <laughs> <laughs> Which would make sense. That would make sense. Right. You're walking up. by a gigantic dirt hole in the ground. And you go, what is that hole? Is that an ant hole? No, that's my pet. John John. That's John. John. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a rope anyway, there's a rope around. Anyway, there. yeah. You got to figure that out, babe. That's crazy talk. If you can have a pet plant, why can't you have a pet pancit noodle? You don't can't have a pet plant. Yeah, you Just cuz you say it doesn't necessarily mean like you know like back in the 70s the rocks. Oh, pet rock. Yeah, that guy made zillions of dollars mm-hmm. by just walking outside putting a rock in a cardboard box. And saying pet rock. I was onto something. What a genius! What? I was onto something because the eventually ramen, the Tamagotchi ne- came out after my pet oh, pancit noodle. <laughs> <laughs> you were ahead of the curve. Is that what you're saying? I yeah, was ahead of saying. the curve. You know what? We'll give you that, babe. Thank you. You were ahead of the curve. So there's some things that are going on aside from my birthday, which is a big event. And um, what is this? That's uh, I think a fan sent a package. Okay, it's pretty big, and I can't wait to open it. But aside from this, um, I can't wait. Aside from my birthday, there's some other things that have happened. And the one thing I want to talk about is um, my buddy from SNL that just got fired. He's not really your buddy, though. You don't. No, know I just want to say it because I want to know. I feel like I'm in the end. Oh up, my god! I never heard, never of, him heard of him. When you said that, I was like, "Oh god, are you really friends?" I don't know him. I don't know him. No. His name is. But uh, I want to defend Shane him. Gillis. Shane Gillis. I want to defend him. Okay. What, you have well, I gave today? you a, a quick, a quick, a, a quick. Uh, <laughs> What exactly? I want to know synopsis, but you don't read word never for heard word it. what he said. Okay, wait, we'll pull it up. Because, um, listen, you know, on podcast, I have said things that have gotten me in so much fucking trouble. I I think that you can probably string together anything from any from anybody. Mm-hmm over the years and get anyone in trouble at this point. But that's the problem. We live in a very, like like Andrew Yang says, so punitive society, so full of punishment mm-hmm. that we don't allow people to make mistakes, to grow, to improve, to correct those mistakes. Also, I just want to say this too is, is all right, uh, the guy, uh, you hired a comic who said chink a couple of times. I don't know what the context was, right? He was uh, describing uh, New York's Chinatown. Okay. And the bad service that he gets. Is sure. Like, we all have, we have all. I've had soup, hot soup thrown. Why are you laughing now? John, why are you laughing? See, you, you but the reason why you're laughing <laughs> is the reason why I'm laughing is because, and I want all you white people to know this right now. All the Asians are different in this sense that I was talking to you about this in the car that, you know, black people, mm-hmm. m- most of them came here by, we captured them from their homes. We dragged them over here, right? And a lot of these people don't necessarily even know, maybe through genetic testing, but at the time when they were, you know, they didn't know, oh, I'm from Nigeria or, you know, Cote d'Ivoire or whatever it might be. So it's just one place, Africa, right? Mm -hmm. But the Asians have had different, we've had a different American experience as as black people. So um, chink to me, right, refers to Chinese people, right to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if somebody calls me a chink, it's not offensive. Yeah, but it's there. And also, so it's, it's, it's a, it also goes 
on um, what's behind the chink. Andrew Santino has called me things that, quite frankly, are the most racist things I've ever heard. Oh, it's well documented. Yeah, yeah. Eric Griffin have said things that are very racist to mm. me, right? If you put it on paper, but it's love because I love them. It's out of love. I make fun of them. Mm-hmm. You know, I make fun of Eric's disgusting fat black body. Yeah. You know what I mean? That he did. God didn't give him that body. He fucked it up by eating all those donuts and creamy drinks he likes at late at night. That fat fuck. <laughs> but, but but now, I said those things. Those are mean, right? Yeah. About obese people. I'm fat myself. That's fine. All right? But Eric Griffin, the fat fuck, knows, right? Ugh, ugly, ugly. Uh, big, fat, <laughs> ugly, black. Right? When you see him. You, you know, when, when I see Eric Griffin, I hear this noise. What is that sound? Juices. About? Fat juice. Oh. In his cheeks alone. Right, but it might, sorry, my bad. I'm sorry. Don't talk about my co-host. Like, <laughs> my, oh. my, my, oh, my bad. My bad, and also very talented guy. Oh. All right, one of the best. Yeah, okay. he's hilarious. But I want to say that we make fun of each other. We say things in podcasts. I've said things that are questionable, sure, mm-hmm. but it's all in the um, the vein of comedy. Mm-hmm. These are things that I would say to any of my friends or just me amongst. You know, and I, I've traveled a bit. I'm not bragging, right? Your culture. So, what did the guy say exactly? So, so this different scenario. Uh, okay. He's Gillis uh, is with his co-host Matt McCurser, another white guy Big on fan. their own podcast, and they took time to joke about why they dislike Chinese and Asian people, Chinese food in Chinatown. So things like he said were like, "Why did the fucking chinks live there?" Gillis asked. Hold on, hold on, one second. The tra- if you're reading the transcript, it sounds horrible, so you should have him listen. Should we play the thing? Yeah, just yes. play it for him. Because his his cadence is also Because what you just said there right now was like you almost I wanna kill him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's let's wrap him up. I'll find the video. One second. All right. Yeah, but that's what I that's what Bill Burr talks about. Dave Chappelle. Or no, I'm not sorry, not or, Bill uh, Burr, Dave Chappelle does. Both. It, I mean, they all kind of talk about the cancel culture stuff. No, 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 no. Who? Which one of them talked about going to court and reading the transcript? I think did they both. Bill Burr for sure, because someone in the audience said something. And oh no, it was Bill, Bill Burr, Burr for sure. I don't know what you're saying. But, reading uh, court transcripts, right? When someone's like, you know, she said, "No, no, don't touch me. I don't want it." That's what the court transcript reads. Right. And he was like, in reality, it's really like, "No, no, don't touch me. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't want it." Now, that, so he's kind of like that may or might not be true, but it could be a possibility. Yeah, and of it's course. a funny angle. It's a funny angle, and it's also real. And um, you know, I want to hear him because he must. He could be killing in front of his friends. There could be a Chinese dude in the room. And here's why SNL. Here's guys. why SNL fucked up. Here's what it is. Okay, they're scared. Like, oh no, we hired a new comic who is saying derogatory things toward Asians. We're so sorry. We should have vetted him more. Instead, you do this. You know, freedom of speech. Don't do it yet. Mm-hmm. Freedom of speech. He apologized for what he said. It was in a, in a podcast in a comedy pod. He said in a moment, and um. And because we know we're not racist because we just hired another actor who happens to be Asian, our first one. Mm-hmm. So just give us a little bit of credit, please. Am I not right? Yeah. You're hiring an Asian guy and you have another white guy who's a comic who have said chink. Who gives but a fuck? maybe they feel more pressure to let go of the white guy because they, they are hiring a Chinese guy. No, here's, a, here's, a, my, you know, here's where my thing stands. I don't know this Chinese guy. Bowen Yang. He's Bowen really Yang. talented. He's really funny. All right. Yeah. He kill it. That's all I care about. Mm-hmm. You be Chinese or whatever, and, and you can um, get on a sketch show. I need you to kill it. Mm-hmm. I need you to show everyone else why it's important, why you're important. Because mm-hmm. if he goes on there and he doesn't take every moment and doesn't destroy mm-hmm. and take his own and just kind of fizzles away, that's, that's going to be a bigger crime, I think. Don't you think? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Great response. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, let me play it. Play it. Hey, guys. Sorry to interrupt, but we have a favorite sponsor. Postmates. <sighs> Postmates. You guys, the one app that I use mostly in my life is Postmates. Mm-hmm. When you need red wine at 4 p.m., sushi at 9 p.m., a breakfast burrito at 8 a.m., and ibuprofen at 10 a.m., you Postmate it, <laughs> mm-hmm. which is what a night. Yeah, like that's a, imagine that night. It's an intense yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever kind of delivery service all year round. Anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. They're the largest on-demand network in the U.S. and offer delivery from all the restaurants, grocery, and convenience stores and traditional retailers you could possibly want or need. 24 hours a day, Postmates will bring you what you need within the hour. No more trips to the store. You don't even have to know where the store is. Whoa. Postmates will deal with you anything. So download the app iOS or Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery in real time. For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app and use the code BELLY. That's the code BELLY for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Anything you need, Anytime you need it, Postmate it. Download Postmates and save with the code BELLY. I'm doing it now. Oh, sorry. The ridge, 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 the ridge. Everybody, everybody needs the ridge. ridge. Everybody, I use the ridge. It is a wallet from the future. It's in my pocket. You think of Blade Runner or any of the future shows or movies that you see, that's what they have in their pockets, the ridge. If you don't have the ridge, you're not doing it in life. No, you're not. Right? I need you to get one. It is a wallet that has RFID protection. It has all. It comes in all these styles and um, me- metallic um, configurations. Mm-hmm. Tell them about it, guys. Not only do they have wallets, they also have backpacks, chargers, and really cool wallets. Like you know, uh, get ten percent off today with free worldwide shipping by going to ridge.com/slept. That's ridge.com/slept, and use the code SLEP. That is S L E P T. Link in the description. Enjoy the rest of the show. And start. Go. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. It's crazy, dude. This is bull fucking China. Dude, it's yeah. fucking Chinese down there. I wonder how that started. They just built one fucked up looking building and people were like, all right, no one said anything. Okay, but it's okay. There, huh? <laughs> well, they built these fucking like huge Shanghai out the first That's not him. It's the other guy, right? Yeah, I'm like, like, what the fuck? Like, like, what are you guys doing here? Get these ducks out of that window. I, you know what? Yeah, true. Also, I'm always like... How can there be so many fucking restaurants down here? All restaurants. Well, because... You go in, there's like one person eating ever. That white idiot's like me here down there. True. Sucking down neuters. I hate China. I hate the food in Chinatown. sucks. I like it. Chinese food's a very dishonest cuisine. I don't even want to think about it. They invented a fucking chemical to put in their food to make it delicious, dude. It, 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 they made us MSG. Okay. It's wrong. It's a dishonest food. That's not him. That's the other guy, right? Yeah. Nothing to it. Him. It's shitty very meat. Honorable. Shitty meat. A chemical they made up to fuck your body up. And noodles, noodles. The noodles are fucking cheapest great. thing in the world. We got it. Huh? chemical. <laughs> Sick. Worst meat you can find. Wow. We got in there and we sat down, and baby girl was like, "I'm so excited for noodles," and I was like, "Yo, chill, chill, chill." <laughs> she was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." She said noodles. Yeah. And there's a fucking yeah. And it's, what's noodles mean? It's full fucking Chinese in there. It's like and it's such well, isn't, that, isn't that kind of like nice though? Isn't that the being like, when people go into like a Mexican restaurant like I'll have two tacos? Like uh, I'll have a bowl of spicy neuters. <laughs> I hate okay. that guy. Yeah. yeah. Translation Suck. between you and the waiter. Yeah. It's just such a fucking hassle. It's like can you I'm pointing at it. <laughs> like this is the fucking yeah. neuter. Well that's why I put number like fifty seven. Yeah, this one even with the fucking shit. I was yeah. pointing, I was like, that sauce. <laughs> that. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that one. She's like, Yeah. She's like a medium or a spicy? It's like, uh, medium. She's like, spicy. <laughs> like, no, medium. Spicy. <laughs> yeah. That's it? Yeah. He lost his job. He, wait, he didn't say anything. He said chinks, 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 maybe like six times. Chinks. Uh, said, there's, I think there's a... Did other, you see it? There's other stuff that I don't... I didn't really follow this too much, honestly. Apparently, <clears throat> anti-LGBTQ... A lot of... Uh, and- he called... Uh, uh, what is it? What is it called Yang, a Jew chink. Yeah, here's the, the uh, crime is he, they they just aren't funny. Yeah, that's, that's what the bigger bad. thing for me and is. That this to me is the funny. crime. It's like you know, go for because I've seen a lot of comics go into Chinese marketplaces or go into mm-hmm. their complaints in terms of especially going to China and people not being able to wait in lines and whatnot, right? But it's like you have to be funny about it. Elevate your ra- if if you're gonna use racial slurs, yeah. elevate your practice. 
make that shit funny. That because that's like not early, late eighties funny. But you know this guy, what's his name? Gillis. Gillis. If you ever want to do Tiger Belly, we have you on. I'll be real. <laughs> I really I want to talk are. about this you can because call him a chink to his you face. Call me a chink to my face, and also we can talk about you know how you feel because I I can only imagine booking SNL. You know, being it, you know, regardless of how you feel about the show, it's an institution. It is, you know, a play. It is a show that's going to stay on forever. And when you book a show like that, it's life altering. Remember when they tried to drag down Melissa Villasenor? Same thing. Tweets, right? Some kind of tweets. Oh, yeah, some yeah. Really benign tweets from a couple of years ago, like six years ago. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. This is the culture that we live in. And Melissa Villasenor is probably one of the nicest people you will ever fucking meet in your life. Oh, she's. And they she's tried- I I want her. She's gonna do this too. Of I love her, but it's at the end of the day, we're really heading toward. A, a time in our lives where we've never seen anything like this. It, it, something's going to happen. It, 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 it just can't continue. Yeah. Did you want to see his uh, statement? Yeah, what did he say? So uh, all this stuff happened. I think SNL made their decision, or NBC, and he's, he wrote, uh, it feels ridiculous for comedians to be making serious public statements, but here we are. I'm a comedian who was funny enough to get on SNL. That can't be taken away. Of course, I wanted an opportunity to prove myself at SNL, but I understand it would be too much of a distraction. I respect the decision they made. I'm honestly grateful for the opportunity. I was always a mad TV guy anyway. Woo! That last come, part was... Honestly, funny. honestly, Jane honestly, Gillis come for here. the win. Jane, Jane, you were come invited. On here. You're come open on door over. Here. We'll suck your dick, dude. We got a China, Korean guy right here that'll suck your uh, camera, man. That'll suck your dick, man. Sorry about what I said right? about not for being us, funny. Right? You're funny. Yeah, for Bobby. Yeah, for me, right, John? Hey, oh, thank we you. said we, he wasn't funny. Say he's funny. We were so no, funny. No, you were very funny, dude. That was the funniest thing I've ever heard. It's the best angle on time. Yeah. Right? yeah. Best angle. That oh. must have been, dude, That that's a real comic thing to say, too. Yeah. Oh, it is. Dude, to have the one show that kind of was our competition a little bit mm-hmm. and to throw that out there is a pretty good shade. I like it. Um, buddy, I'm sorry that what you're going through. Um, But, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know him. He could end up being a racist. That's the thing, yeah. Yeah, I mean, all of a sudden, an Owen Benjamin kind of a figure emerges. Yeah. Where he's doing, like, a podcast in the woods. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you go, oh, fuck, no, he is that. Let's that- talk about the love of Popocatepetl. <laughs> what is that? Is that the what I said earlier? Yeah, that's what you said earlier. Okay. It reminded me of that love story. It's a Mexican volcano. Does no one know what I'm talking about? What is it? El Popo? I know Hawaii for the poke. Okay. Uh, I just El said it all Popo, wrong. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm El Popo wrong. is a volcano, a famous volcano. Uh huh. Why should we know that? Because it's a love story. So during the time of the Aztecs, he was a warrior. He had fallen in love with a princess in his um, in that area, and he. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my. Yeah. That's how I pitch shows, guys. Yeah. yeah. And then he came back for more and she was she had died and she had died because she had been told that he had died at war and so um well from what i'm from what i remember my dad telling me the story is um she had been lied to and said he had died at war and she died from a broken heart he came back she was dead so he died from a broken heart and he carried her body and um he stayed in this position i guess carrying her body and he, he her body and his body turned into two um volcanoes and so what? El Popo, El Popo, the volcano. Apparently, like every time it sense. it sputters um, any um, smoke or ash, is that it's because El Popo remembers his one true love. Or it could memory. be cum too. <laughs> it could be just the El Popo going, uh, right? Also, don't, releasing some fucking. Don't quote me on that story because um, I haven't heard that story in since I was like yeah. ten years old from my dad. That yeah, that story. He might have made it up. I don't there's know. There's some holes in that story for sure. <laughs> you know, number one being that. You know, human beings aren't volcanoes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Not a scientist. But I love your little mythological <laughs> stories. I think that we should write a treatment, a movie. On a it. treatment? Really. Because w- that ending scene, mm-hmm. babe, of, uh, wait, he's holding, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, right. And then he curls up, like you see, he curls up into a ball, right? Yeah. And then they die, right? Yeah. yeah. And they turn into volcanoes. Yeah. And then what, 100 years later, 1,000 years later, the guy goes, uh, 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 you're right, and the fire comes out. 
No. That was a what great was this, ending. What was the other volcano, George? Forget that, your volcano stories. They don't make any sense. It, hold on. <laughs> Fuck your volcanoes. Right, Dave? It reminds me Somebody of- Somebody help me out here. <laughs> Somebody help me out. Her volcano stories. She's got great stories, but the ones that involve it's a the, volcanic rock well, I remember, or I remember. Is it Cachihuato? Fuck Cachihuato, man. Fuck Papuoto. Is it, is it, is it Cachihuato? I don't want to talk about it anymore about the volcano. We have- I, Is she Cachihuato? Oh, now you Googled it, you fuck nut? I don't see any of the- Oh, here, my though. God. Yeah, they're all at like coconut, all of it. Yeah. All right, let's move on. I'm sorry, babe. This is a great story. You want another one? Share another story of your island. Okay. So yeah, 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 give me another one. And, and then I, I, I'm gonna, I got one. Yeah, I want to hear one of yours. I have an ancient another one from one, Korea. Then I want to so. hear Bobby's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Quote. What's your other one? Uh, you want a Filipino um, legend? Yeah. Actually, oh, no. I love Filipino legends. Let me hear Tell that. Tell me about your Actually, Wolverine. Actually, no, 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 no. I think that we should hear Bobby's Korean legend. No, no, no. I want to hear yours first. No, Filipino no, no. One. This is more educational. Because, yeah, I have to this still is not educational. I'm just making it up as I go. I'm trying oh, to get all the then. facts on my Korean one. Good. In Come my on, head. babe. On the spot. Tell us about long it. Long ago. Story mm -hmm. time. Because, of course, all stories start there. Yeah. <laughs> long ago. But this is uh, a specific date, 1692. And this is before the divisions. Korea was one uh, one country, and um, mm -hmm. there was no communism, just love and yellow flowers. There was yellow flowers all over these hillsides on the northern parts of Korea, mm -hmm. right? Apdang is what they used to call them. Apdang? Yeah, Apdang. It was oh. the flowers. Yeah, like the album, U2 album. <laughs> Apdang, baby. Okay. Right. So we have these yellow flowers, right? This is before North Korea, right? And there used to be a meadow in Apdang, and... Um, and in the meadow, there used to be these holes where Korean North Koreans used to live, <laughs> right? Like hobbits, mm -hmm. they used to live there, right? And, <laughs> right? And they used to be, you know, imagine the people. We looked different back then. This is way before evolution. <laughs> you know, we looked like. What did you look like? What do we look like? Yeah. Well, what kind, what of, are, what kind of features? We all right. About? So, uh, you know what baklava is. I love I'm baklava. familiar with the dessert baklava. Yeah. yeah. Just take all the baklava dough. The right? phyllo? Yeah, the phyllo. Phyllo dough. Uh -huh. Exactly. Thank you. Uh -huh. For back me up, right? Roll it, just, I guess, as much as you can. Roll into a big ball and stick it in a stove, but a stone one with a stone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stove. Stone stove. Exactly, Duh, right? Like they do stove. in Italy for Italy. The pizzas, right? And it comes out. Wood and fire, that's what, wood that's fire. what the North Koreans used to look like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just. <laughs> Wait, you're saying they look like dough that's they just like, been baked? Yeah, baked in a stone oven. With right. phyllo dough. So right. shitty, like, and we had little arms and legs, and we used to roll on these hills. <laughs> if you don't want to hear up tongue, if you want to hear about the flowers no, of the I need to know. Educate me. Educate me. Educate me. 1692. I'm ignorant. Go ahead. Did I get that date right? 1692. Up 1692. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. I, oh, I can't. I'm, this is real, dude. Fuck I, I'm you. I'm saying 1692. Right. <laughs> So much. They're Korean though, right? They're Korean people, but they... Oh my god, all the white foam is coming out of his I'm mouth. So, I'm sorry. Drink some water. I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. I'm so sorry. Are you not so dry? <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm so sorry. It's not comedy, guys. I'm in big trouble. But I'm not on a show that you can fire me on. And there, there you go. There it is. Uh -huh. And I guess the whole goal for all comics is just don't be on. You know, Andrew Schultz from New York mm -hmm. told me that I just do it on my own. And so, you know, this SNL guy that got fired, it's a shame that happened, but let go of any of those prizes, man. You're doing the right thing by doing stand up and just keep doing it. You're going to get something. Do you think that his uh, like community is behind him? Like the comedy community generally, or do you think that sometimes people are afraid to back him up in this? In because, like for instance, I saw a tweet from Jimmy O Yang saying like, "No, unacceptable." Yeah, I mean, but he's also. Um, but he is Chinese, babe. So you can't speak on behalf of the Chi of of, pe of Chinese people who are actually like sensitive. It, it, it you know it goes back to what um, Ali Wong told me a couple a year ago. Maybe she said. Man, I don't know where she goes. Man, it must have been tough in the '90s, like just in terms of getting parts and, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with. Um, just there was just no voice to defend us, and there were new parts for us to do, and there was still a group of us here that were young, John Cho, these kind of guys. You know, they're auditioning and nothing happening. Now, you know, you see them on sets or whatever, and it it feels good, but it was really, really difficult mm -hmm. back then um why am i losing train of thought i think i have alzheimer's babe 
You know how I know you have Alzheimer's? Because you've been saying that every... (laughs) You forgot that you've said that you have Alzheimer's for the last five episodes. (laughs) I really, honestly, I think I have some sort of mental Alzheimer's thing. I don't going think on. you do. Are you I think that you. Just, I, I, I'm just like you know. I'm trying my hardest because you know, I think the last couple of podcasts have been depressing because of the fact of my dad and all that stuff. So this one, I was trying to like be positive. I took I took a nap today, and I want to be positive about it because I want this thing to be good, right? And then, but then, oh, so I don't want to fake it. And the real thing is, is I'm having issues with memory. And am I, is that because, is that tied in with grieving? I don't know. But I have been kind of hazy. Have you noticed a change in me? I think the last two, three years, you for sure, I don't know if it's just an unwillingness to try and remember things. I think that you give very little fucks about remembering. But, okay, I want to defend myself real quick. Because when I hear about the memories that you've had and how how vivid your memories are about, like, you know, the stories that you've told detailed. about the past are very detailed. Lots of details. But when you try to recall a story that's happened in the last three to six years, they're not as vivid or detailed. In fact, you don't remember them anymore. Yeah. So you're having some type mm. of, like, trouble remembering recent stuff. But can I say this to defend myself is... um. And I'm not, there's no joke to this. This is real. And this is what I thought was when I was, I did a scene in Hawaii where I I wrapped at like two in the morning, right? And they go, they came up to me and they go, listen, we know you're done at two. We're way over, but you have to be here in like seven hours. I go, I know, but you get 12 hours, Mm -hmm. right? We have to do a push call with you. Mm Mm-hmm. And they go, we added all those scenes from like five days ago to t- tomorrow too. And I go, what are they? And I read them and they were these gigantic chunks of lines that I had to do. And I went, you know what? I'll memorize it right before. So I went to sleep. I showed up, didn't know any of them. I looked at it twice, did rehearsals by reading it, memorizing it when they set up the cameras and did it. So in my when I did that, I was like, "Oh fuck!" You know what I mean? I've evolved because I can I absorbed all this information really quickly. So what is the situation then? I think it's a choice. So when you choose to remember, that that's what it's we get into choice. fights about. That's why we I get very sensitive about it. Yeah, it's a choice. Because nothing about my recent like nothing about me is anything that you're choosing to remember lately. I, I wonder if, I always wonder this, if you spend so much of your life with someone just living day to day, if you have as many memories of them than you would someone you don't see as frequently. Someone you don't see as frequently, it's a very like marked occasion. And maybe you put that in a in a different like box in your head of, of bigger remembrance mm-hmm. rather than when you live with someone every day, you just kind of remember it as like a blur of existing with them. Not marked remembering. Yeah, does I mean, that make any sense? I get what you're saying, but I, I have to. I want to discuss it because of because my of my dad because that recently just happened. That you're right. I don't. I can't think of really any moments with my dad. Anything. Like in my head, I w- I was like, what are some mo- childhood moments? Where I remember going like a warm feeling about what my dad did, or and there isn't any. In fact, I don't know anything about him really. Don't I don't know you know? And I've t- I've I talked to my brother about it. So he's probably the person I've known the longest that I know the least, which is crazy. But isn't that what happens with everybody then? But I but here's my last point though. Yeah, you're right. But here's my last point. But even aside from that, mm-hmm. I love him. One of the he's one of the most people people I love the most. Mm-hmm. And it there's no memory there. It's a feeling. And if I at the end of my life, you know, if I look at my life as a book, and in terms of chapters, you'd be a gigantic chunk of that book, sweetie. So you can feel however you want to feel about how I feel about things, but Ooh. that's not how I feel about it at all. <laughs> wow, like, it's ridiculous. Uh, that, uh... What? 
Nothing. Like I got so confused right there when you said that. <laughs> Why? I couldn't keep up. You're like a master. That was a that was masterful. I don't know. I was just talking about. What I know. I'm just saying that was awesome. The yeah. way you you worded that, it just I couldn't keep up because my brain short circuited. Yeah, you're, you're. Yeah. So you know, even those because you've been really mean to me the last couple of days. You've said some real dark stuff. Like what? Dark stuff. Like just dark, like, dark. No, she'll just stuff like you, ugly piece of shit, and just. I but not, not out of not. But not even. Not in terms of like out of a joke. It's just her walking by and saying it while you're laying laying there. You ugly piece of because shit. Because he's you eating his fucking fuck. boogers in bed. And there's like I'm not eating sticky. no boogers in bed, babe. That's crazy. He's eating his boogers in bed and there's fucking food no boogers all in over. Bed, babe. That's bullshit. And he's just ripping ass. Ripping the ass out. <laughs> rip it out. Sorry to rip, guys, but we have another ad. For hims. For hims, for hims, for hims, for hims. Guys, for hims is, and I've talked about this before, and you know when I talk, it's real. Yeah. Everything I say is believable because it's real, and I talk the truth. For hims is a website that I wish I had growing up mm-hmm. because I had no mama money. I had no money, broke, and I needed advice because of my PP. It broken, mm-hmm. and my my hair is losing it, and I needed help, and I didn't have any medical advice or anything because I had no money, but now... Kids, if you're listening, there is a place for you to go to get all the answers that you the answers that you're seeking for with the questions. Mm-hmm. Tell them about it. These aren't snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. Mm-hmm. These are real prescription solutions backed by science. Yeah, guys. So order now because our listeners get started with Hims Complete Hair Kit for just five dollars today, right now while supplies last. See website for full details and safety information. This could cost hundreds. Maybe millions if you went to the doctor. Billions. Billions if you went to the doctor or pharmacy somewhere else. Go to forhims.com slash belly. That's F O R H I M S dot com slash belly. Forhims.com slash belly. Quip, 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 quip. <laughs> Let's go. Ready? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> quip, quip. We have fun. Quip, quip. Quip, quip. Anyway, hi. Quip, quip. Hey, guys, quip is a toothbrush that I'm going to use for the rest of my life. Because it is dynamic. It's this little fucking toothbrush. And it's got so much power. Uh-huh. It's light. It gets all into all the crannies. I'm going to tell you, we love Quip because it's soft, gentle, and makes brushing fun. And that's what's missing from brushing. That's why we love Quip. And we, uh, it's a perfect gift for getting back into a routine. Correct. <laughs> Quip starts at just $25. If you go to Quip.com, Belly, right now, you can get your first refill Pack for free. You want free stuff? Do it now. Mm-hmm. When you think That's of your... electric toothbrushes, you may jump to think pricey luxury. Mm-hmm. That's because most brands focus on flashy, unnecessary gimmicks instead of building correct brushing habits. That's why Quip was invented to help you brush better with only the features that matter. Take it away, Guild. We love Quip because it's soft, gentle, and makes brushing fun. That's why we love Quip and why it's perfect for getting back into the routine. Quip starts at just $25. If you go to getquip.com slash belly right now, you can get your first refill pack for free, Kalila. That's your first refill pack free at G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. Hi. All the time. You know, it's so funny because when I was um, shooting with just last thing about Magnum I'll never talk about it again. I like because it has guys. to do with farts. But um, so I had the scene where we were driving in the car and I stood up and I farted so loud that the two actors, the two leads in the front, <laughs> they just were speechless because they don't. Fart. You know, some sets they <laughs> fart and then you laugh about it. That's but in add. some sets, and that's what one of those. <laughs> Why and I farted farts so so, so bad? Yeah. And they go, "Did you just?" I go, "Yeah." And they go, "You're not embarrassed." Oh, no. I thought you were going to laugh. I thought you were going to laugh. <laughs> Not one of them. That is of weird. I feel like and it smelled really bad. Like, oh, that's... unusual. I'm like, yeah, this is the kind I like. <laughs> and I want to show them that this is napalm, bitch. You know what I mean? But it, it, did, yeah, it, it didn't hit. It didn't hit. <laughs> What's the matter, babe? Nothing. I'm listening. Yeah. Anywho. Um, we were at M Cafe earlier. And I don't know if Bobby ever told you guys the story. I know he told it on your mom's house with um, Christina and Tom, where this guy um, outside of the comedy store basically told him, you're a disgrace to, um, for the Asian community because of his act. Okay, this is, oh, this is in the 90s, by the way. Oh, okay. I thought this was now. Late 90s. There was an actor, very good looking Hold on. Guy. I didn't. Okay, you didn't add that part, right? That When he told his story about who this person was, 
who was very mean to him, I had created an image of my mind of what this person must have looked like. And I always imagined like another portly Asian man who was a little bit more serious and who probably wanted to be um, represented differently, Mm -hmm. you know, because he himself was Asian. So I created this image of this guy in my head. So in my head, I forgave him a little bit. I'm like, yeah, well... You know, he probably sees a lot of himself in you and he doesn't want to be represented in like a very crazy, sec- you know, like half naked way. Mm-hmm. But then we were at M Cafe earlier. And he was there. And then Bobby goes, that's the guy. And in walks this six foot three dashing fucking male model, basically, of an Asian man. Like he is ripped. He is buff and handsome. And I've never hated anyone more. In that second. Wow. Yeah. And it, all is this time, I thought that he yeah. was this guy who probably saw himself. You know who he is, but we're not yeah. going to ever say his name. Yeah, we won't. Because I've hung out with him after that. I think he did Matt TV a couple of times as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember him saying that and then going, this piece of shit. But I was a doorman. Yeah, but how dare a handsome, tall man like that ever pass judgment onto someone like you when you have such a different because path like, of survival than him. He's had, thi- he's he's a fucking, it, he's not you. You are the complete opposite of him. But you have to also t- have to think about the year and the climate back then. Then it was Bosco Brothers and guys like, <laughs> love that actor. Yeah, and um, it was harder. So I can, I, I thought maybe at the time you would see, you know, you would see an act like mine. You have to imagine you're a guy who went to college or whatever. You have the suit. You're this, I'm a serious actor. Mm-hmm. And you're at the comedy show. You walk by the room. And you see my dick on stage. <laughs> and I'm doing like, you know what I mean? Twirls with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, those are like, like this on stage in front of hundreds Helicopters. of Helicopters. Helicopters. Yeah. You could imagine him going, that, yeah, that, I don't want that as. <laughs> that's not my country. That's not my people. <laughs> He's <not> Korean? <laughs> what a disgrace. So that's, I think that's why he said it. It is. No. Still nothing? No. I still I hate him so much right. more. You guys are, you are not friends now. Somebody right? who, I love him. But you guys talk no, sense. No, we didn't they didn't even say hi at M Cafe. So you don't love him. He doesn't love you, okay? No, he didn't I, I honestly, I think it's this is the reason why. Why your mustache? 50% of the people <laughs> 50% of the people that I run into that know me can't recognize me because of this. Really? Yeah, I can't wait for this to grow back. Yeah, I wasn't wrong. Oh, wow. But you know also what they did? Does, I can't, you're not gonna believe what I gotta say. Hold on. Are you gonna stand up? No, hold on. I'm not gonna stand up. <laughs> stand. Oh, cigarette. Hold on. I need to drag it this high. So check this out. I show up to Hawaii. Just a, a, a quick story. Okay. And they go. Um, I get a call. They go. Hey, we have to shave your mustache. I go. Why? Because you're playing Yoko Ono in a scene. <laughs> I go, all right. Just okay. So, yeah, so I don't give a fuck. Yeah. They shave it. Three days later. I'm going to take credit for, for your role as Yoko Ono because I'm the one who dressed you as Yoko Ono. You put it out. I, think that, I think that influenced Gene because Gene's, um, you know, Gene is one of the writers. He's like, oh, we love him so much. Thank you, Gene, for everything. But um, And so then three days later, like, we forgot to do the scene before you shave it. <laughs> I go what yeah we, we have to put the mustache back on I go with what so then they go to the store and they give me like a Tom oh Selleck my old time I have a photo you want to see the photo yes that's actually yes. going to be in the show now that yeah. fake mustache. yeah and then on, but also when they were shooting I kept saying to like the the makeup lady I go oh, what does it look like <laughs> is it reading she, it looks natural I go, are you sure? Because I sent one to the Kalila, and she went ah, a thousand times. She, it looks fine, so I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't where my even phone look is. like oh, here it is. a sticker mustache. It looks like a three-year-old right, drew it on your let, okay, face. Okay, let's be a judge. Let's be the judge. Okay, you guys want to be the judge? Yes. Okay, it's from zero to Tom Selleck, tell me how real is this? Okay, so, so this is supposed to be my natural mustache. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. <laughs> will, will that pass? 
I want no no you don't know, you know, it gets you sillier. Close up? It gets way sillier. They fixed it, right? No. That's it. Here's the second thing that's even crazier than that. So then a couple of days after that, time goes on, they go ABC wants two new scenes in the first episode you did. I go, you mean the episode I did a month and a half ago? Mm-hmm. They go, yeah. But I had mustache. I had two mustaches on. <laughs> because in the first episode, the gag was I had my regular mustache and I put a thicker mustache on top of it. Mustache on top yeah, of to it, cover it. To do a couple of jokes. I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I had to do two fake mustaches. <laughs> When you have a fucking real mustache. I'm being real. I did two fake fucking mustaches, you know? So anyway, that's happened. Um, Do you uh, you know who commented on that photo you posted? Sean Lennon. Which one? Yoko Ono and... No, he did? And John Lennon. On my my Instagram? Yeah. Oh my God, no! It says mom. That's that's him? Click on... Click on... Go to your Instagram. Click on the Oh, I love him so much. I got... I'm such a big fan. It's so funny. We just talked about him last week. uh, And we... uh, Hey, Sean. Can he be on the podcast? Sean. Let's listen, Sean. (laughs) Mom? This is how I get... This is how I get... This is your mom talking. Anyway, Sean, I want to say this. Um, All your solo albums back in the day, um, my brother and I went to Amoeba and we bought all your solo albums. I'm a gigantic fan of your of the Beatles and your father, obviously, but I'm a huge fan of yours. I know I love your band with um, the guy from um, Primus, and um, I have all the your albums with with him as well. I think you're very talented. Please do our podcast. I uh, uh, we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. I love you, big fan. Anyway, that's that. I thought that was a pretty good podcast. We're not done. <laughs> Let's but it was pretty going. good so far, though, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's keep going. Because Quality. the muscles on my hips, <laughs> when I do rabbit fucking, they don't lie. They, the muscles don't, don't lie. lie. Exactly. His baby. hips do not lie. Exactly. Hey, fuck machine. Right, John. right here. Smash your pussy out. Hey, Who's pussy. <laughs> Nobody. Okay, another <laughs> thing that has to change. Okay. One more thing. I need you to stop hitting on gay men. Hey, oh. hey, hey. What are you talking about? Hips down. Today ah. when we were at, uh, <laughs> what was that? About? Oh yeah. What's that place? Um, uh, Design within reach. Design within reach. All right, what is there's, that? Oh, there's a black man. He's black and Filipino. Very cute man. Okay, but, I just but, said but, the uh, first part. Black and Filipino. Yeah. Yeah. He was happened to be the gay. The gay. Yeah. Yeah, and um, he said, "So our couches don't go deep." <laughs> and he goes, "You want deep?" That's what I said. Well, he goes, our countries don't go deep. I go, I'll show you deep. How deep do you want to go? It's a, I just kept saying that's that. Creepy. Hold on, that's creepy though. You, it, also, we've established he had established a rapport with this guy, a very comedic rapport prior to saying that. He Thank didn't you. just open with Wasn't that. Wasn't the first Thank thing. Wasn't the, the first thing. thing he said. He loved me already. already. Thank but you. But here's my thing. Can I just tell you why why I feel offended by that? Here's a gay man who's probably certain he's gay, and I'm just a fucking stand-in stand in fake girlfriend to cover his homosexuality that's always how i feel when he does it a beard you know because no i feel like oh they think God. that he's closeted. i don't want to suck anybody's dick it's just for a laugh i only go out and fuck with hosts and waiters and they said hosts. <laughs> yeah they said hosts. everyone around me because i just i'm bored and i'm insecure and i i'm not good socially uh-huh. and so i just throw things out as defense mechanisms or to take people in a territory where I know that I can shine, but it's bullshit. It is narcissistic and it's because I'm a comic. I don't want to get laughs, but at the end of the day, it's bullshit. I shouldn't be doing it. Is that what you want to hear? Cause that's true. I think. No, I want to hear. Okay. I won't hit on gay men in front of you. No, no, no. <laughs> but Let me see something. If you're gay, you want to bring up words like deep. I can go deep. <laughs> Right, hip- my shit, my crevices go deep too. They don't lie. They don't lie. Thank you so much. Fuck machine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that was my only other request. I said we're good, right? We got what, that. What about your we're request? With, with you? Yeah. Healthy request. Listen, you know, um, you have to understand that, uh, you know, when you get old, you get older, and you're set in your ways, and you just have these firm ideas about how you think life is, or, and then you know you have a, and then you you have a girlfriend or whatever. And they sh- you see that your w- way isn't working and you want to change for them. But, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. And the, and the Grand Canyon wasn't carved out after one rain. 
It took 20. But you got to start. I think more than that. To carve out that fucking canyon? Probably. I'm not so. a scientist, but probably. 25. <laughs> Rains. <laughs> but my point is it takes a long time. I'll build Rome with you, babe. Give me the fucking foundation and the material. I've been foundationing. And, <laughs> and I'll do it. I'll do it in 600 years to build Rome. It doesn't happen in a day. And if we learned anything from this podcast today, we learned those messages. I really want you to take care of yourself, people listening. Mm -hmm. I want you to think that I love you, and I'm your captain, and I'm your leader. And I, I, you know what? I've been saying that lately, but I believe it. Thanks for listening. Let all your joys come. Tr what? I didn't say anything. Oh. <laughs> well, Why did you do that? I, I fixed, fixed her hair. hair. Yeah, but don't do a head twirl when I'm doing my final speech. She was like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's start from the top then. Uh, if you're listening right now, stay in the moment and be you. Mm. Be me. Be everyone. Because we're all connected. In physical, what I'm trying to say, right? Am I not right? You're so right. We're all connected. And I want to say this. There is a movie I'm excited about. And the movie is Joker. Oh, I want to see that already. All right. To g we talk about this already? Mm -hmm. We did last week. Okay, there we go. Venice. Venice. There we go. I have all <laughs> If we've learned that anything, was your point. If we've that learned your anything point. today. If we learned anything, I have mental He's health. He's mental. Do we have an um, unhelpful? Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. Hello. I have been with my fiance for five years, and we have a three-month-old son. I recently discovered he likes to pleasure himself with dildos. Okay, <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Cut. Normal. Who cares? Cut. Normal. Wait, wait. What do you mean? She doesn't wait, know wait. about it. She just learned. Wait, wait, wait. I know, but it's... I don't get it. I'm confused already. I'm lost. It's like me walking in on you butt fucking yourself with a dildo, okay? But that's her son? No, no, no. That's no, gonna... no. Her... See, how, old son is... how old is the son? When I say Three old, months old. Three... How does he your have ears. the dexterity in his hand to grip a vibrating dildo? <laughs> She's talking and about jamming her... its own asshole. Talking that's about crazy. her fiance. <laughs> or fiance is. Yeah, her fiance. She thinks she has a three month old son with her fiance. Okay, let me let, let me get back back up, all right? <laughs> I'm a. Is this a guy talking or a girl? It's a woman. It's a woman, and she has a woman or man husband. A husband. Or so a man husband. So she walks into a room. She just had a baby. I walk into a room. Right. We had a baby. We had a baby. You had a baby. Yeah. You walk into a room, and you're and I'm jabbing a dildo on my butthole. Yes, that's what I said five minutes. ago. Yeah. Well, let me say that that's a. Uh, we want you to finish it. Okay. Yeah. Finish it. I recently discovered he likes to pleasure himself with dildos and has actually recorded himself doing so and has uploaded it to Pornhub. Oh. I don't care about what his kink is in private, but it bothers me that he shared that with the entire world by uploading it. Oh, word. We have a long list of prior issues like him using drugs, excessive gambling, unstable jobs. I'm afraid of this new discovery may be our breaking point, but I am currently depending on him to support our son. And since I quit my job to be a stay-at-home man, uh, Stay at home, mom. Stay at home, man. Mom, <laughs> sir. Uh, thoughts, Bobby and Kalila? Right. Oh, yeah, that's just rude. I have thoughts. I, that's, yeah. Bro. If I get to the point in my life, right, where I'm, I have oils on my body, right? I'm bent over. Imagine oils on my body, I, bent over, right? I'm imagining, yeah. You're, I'm into my hands and knees, mm -hmm. okay? See it. Right? And, I, and I'm oily. And I have a gigantic black, African-American, excuse me, mm -hmm. dildo, right, in my butthole. And it's vibrating like crazy. And I don't lock the door because I want my girlfriend to witness, mm -hmm. to be, you know, to be there. Excited to showcase th that moment. Mm -hmm. There's something going on with me that I need to address. Hmm. Right. Okay, because that's weird. That's like serial killer shit. That's not the kink is not serial killer shit. The fact that he's an exhibitionist is not locking serial the killer door shit. is a weird thing. No, I whatever, whatever. Like she said, she's right. She doesn't care what his kinks are. I'm sure that she she's dealt with his excessive gambling. She's dealt with um, his drug use. She seems like a very, very tolerant woman who probably is okay with the fact that he would fist fuck his asshole. That's not the point. The point is she didn't, he didn't give her a chance to be his ally. To just upload without letting your your spouse know that a lot of people are fapping to you yeah. is is a little traitorous to me. Because what if, what if she, she would have, possibly been okay with it if he was making money and making ends meet that way and providing for their kid right but to go behind her back that's the fucked up part not telling her not telling her and what does it say about me as a father i'm fucking dildoing my butthole out with nothing. a fucking dildo it, it says nothing. and i don't lock the door and my three month three year old baby crawls in and goes gaga google and i go Zzz. 
That's not what dildos do. <laughs> they, they, don't they don't do that? They, they don't vibrate? No, that's a vibrator. It's a vibrator. What does dildos do? Just go. Yeah. Oh. More slurping. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It sounds more like- Thank you for writing in. <laughs> good luck. Writing. And good luck. Anyway, we learned another so much. Another one, Gilb. For- you want another one? Give me another yeah. one. <laughs> I Tiger Belly. I'm a 22 year old certified certified firefighter and EMT, and currently am I on my third attempt at a paramedic national test. I recently just broke off and moved out of my girlfriend of six years. I tried this in an attempt to figure myself out. I think I need to live a solo life, but I've been having such a hard time focusing on studying, sleeping alone, and not having someone to talk to. Despite thinking this is the best choice for me, what do you think, Kalila, and my captain? I went through the exact same thing. I thought that living alone was necessary and I had to go through a point in my, uh, a period in my life where I had to be on my own, completely on my own, my own place. And I did that. And a year and a half, that was the most miserable time of my life. And I just came to the realization that I am somebody who thrives in the company of the people that she loves. I like being with my mother. I like being in the company of my sister and people to bounce ideas around. Not everybody's like that. One of my great friend she lives alone has been on the road kind of this vagabond for many years and it's because she really enjoys being alone i'm not like that it's just what you're hardwired to Mm. become and i don't think there's anything wrong with saying it's fucking lonely to be on your own even though that's what you think you have to go through right now like my brother and i and my mom is like that too in many ways we're very hermity yeah you guys are alone kind of a people my mom now is texting me shit like okay i went to the mall my back hurt. Good night. <laughs> like those are her texts, right? Telling you what she's did. Yeah, but yeah. She, I don't think that if I was there with her, it'd be as fun for her. Oh, really? Yeah. My brother's the same way. My brother's like, I haven't seen anybody in five days. What have you been doing? Sleeping. He'll go sleeping. And, and he's, we're just all that. I don't know why we're like that. My dad was like that. My dad, do you know what? He, he used to have a store up in Sacramento mm-hmm. from San Diego every week. He would drive up there, stay in an apartment next to the store for a whole week. My brother went up there a couple of times. He said, there's nothing in the apartment, just a sleeping bag and like a little pot where he would make like ramen noodles, mm. much, much like um, Joey. Joey. Hey, Kalila, why do you have a two-week ramen noodle on your lap? I'll dry it out like that. It's Joey. And I'd be like, sweetie, let's put her in the institution. She's not right. I should have. Anyway. Um, we did it. One more thing I have to say I about don't wanna... that. Okay. Okay, Licks. Ooh, we haven't brought her back. <laughs> you don't want to bring her out. Yeah. It gets Ooh, dangerous. No one's noticed I've been wearing these hoop earrings. Oh, I'm trying to yeah. bring her back. Jenny back from the block. Oh, Lord. Mm. <laughs> uh, one fan just sent a photo. He just thought this was interesting. He said he found a picture of Bobby as a cop. <laughs> is that not Bobby? No. <laughs> it looks like fucking you, dude. As a Wait, hold on. Somebody... That is me, no, right? It's not, it's not Photoshop. When did I shoot that? It's not Photoshop. That literally is me. Dude. He found a photo from like some canine cop book, and then there was an Asian guy in it, and this is the guy. Are you kidding me? Are you me? kidding me? That's fucking me, dude. Well, hold on. Is that like a deep fake? It's not a deep fake. You promise. Let me see it closely. I'm sorry. How old is he? I know my own face. That's you, sweetie. It's not you. There's a tiny differences you can tell. Yeah, that isn't me. That isn't but me. But very close. <laughs> you should just post that on your Instagram. Well, here's what I need, right? I needed this guy to do something tremendous with his life so I could get hired as his actor. Korean cop. This piece of shit didn't do anything with his life. Probably had about two donuts and, a, 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 you know, some kid stole some gum and he copped the kid. <laughs> this fucker. Anyway, here you go. That's we need incredible. to find out who that is, Gil. We've got to find out who that is. That's incredible. What if that's my... Yeah, like, you know how um, Three Identical Strangers? How old is he, Do We know anything about this guy? If he was think born he's, September 17th... I don't know. If he's Are you fucking... <laughs> oh, I always put my mind... Oh, my God. You really want Are to have a so secret brother, don't you? I want five of them, dude. I want to be a government Wait, hang on, test. Hang on. Like, how, do you think, how do you think Steve would react if then you guys became best friends? With a, a you think cop, Steve would kill him? A cop brother? No. No. No? It would be no. his brother, too. Steve would be so excited. My brother is really w- good with family. He's really good with blood. He's very Shakespearean in that way. Guys, um, you know, it's been a trying couple months, but you know what? I'm really... Today was the first time I did the podcast where I felt closer to myself. 
I felt, you know, at times I was a little lost. But I thought, I could, there was a, if I think about it, there were some good moments that we had together mm. as a group. Um, and I wanted to say I love you. Good night. Good night. Uh, much appreciation to our sponsors for keeping this ship afloat, Postmates, Ridge, Hims, and Quip. For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app and use the code BELLY. Get 10% off your front carry wallet today by going to ridge.com slash slept. That's ridge.com slash slept and use the code SLEP, S-L-E-P-T. Order hymns now and get started with hymns complete hair kit for just $5 right now while supplies last. Go to forhymns.com slash belly. Quip toothbrushes start at just $25. And if you go to getquip.com slash belly right now, you can get your first refill pack for free. And thanks to everyone who gave us five stars and wrote us iTunes reviews this week. Guys, we are number two in comedy interview interview podcast in Iceland. The number one comedy interview wait, podcast. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'll be real. These are real. Like We're number rest? two comedy interview, comedy po- interview um, podcast, podcast yes. in Iceland. Iceland. Now, get this one, though. We're the number one comedy interview podcast in Latvia. I'm into that. And get oh, ready. you gotta be fucking kidding me. These are our fa- these are our listeners. Latvia, what's up? And number three, uh, <laughs> we're number three on comedy interview charts in Malawi. No, Malawi. Malawi. Malawi, come on, you guys! And Malawi. I know Malawi, Malawi. Moana. Moana, great Disney. Jessica's show. been to Malawi. Malawi. So if I go to Malawi right now, who's ahead of you? Though I'm curious about who's ahead of you. <laughs> so George gave me a gift. Yep. I'd like to open oh, no. this. I'm, I'm nervous. Already, okay. Already, <laughs> okay. Already, it's prime time. I already know it's a good gift. Already, we're we're killing it. It's a good gift, George. You're gonna make me cry because the, I love you put the when I see tag, capitalism right? on on the packaging and it, and I love the apple signature, the little apple thing. Oh, you didn't see the other thing then. So for listeners on audio, Bobby's opening an apple bag, and this is a gift that George underscore Kimmel sent him. It's for the new house. It's called a nano. Oh my litter. god, that's why it popped up on my Instagram. The ad for this. Why would it pop up on your Instagram? It's crazy. Is it the tiles that lit, light up? It just came on my Instagram last night. I was like, oh, these are cool. We should get them. Hey, Bobby, look at requirement number one. Look at the price. Response to tag. No, the <laughs> price. The price. The price. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Look at the price. Response to touch. I want to open this. Thanks, George. Thank you, Thank you George. George. Right, that's great. I love Thank it you. so much, George. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm going to open this real quick, though. Don't worry, George is getting you one too for your birthday, so you guys can match tiles. Oh, really? There you go, George. Hey. Another two hundred dollars. <laughs> is this is this, your, is this one yours, Gilbert, or what? No. I can't wait to see yours. Mine's coming tomorrow on your actual birthday. Whoa, tradition! Yay! All right, so this one it says. Who's that from? I don't know. Dear Bobby, Kalila, Gilbert, and George, I am a massive Tiger Belly fan. Enclosed is a copy of Unruly Bastards. It's a game that my best friend Rick and I created. I think you guys will have fun battling your turning bastards. From David Meister, Unruly Bastards. Thank you, buddy. And we will play this game. This is a game that they have called Unruly Bastards. Unruly Bastards. And this is going to be fun. Season one. Awesome. Thank you so awesome. much. Some shirts. Thank you, bud. Anyway, we good? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, you can do follow, get Bobby's tour dates at BobbyLeeLive.com. Follow on Instagram at Bobby Lee Live. You can follow Kalila on Calamity K. Calamity K. George Kimmel at George underscore Kimmel. John, now where can we find you? John Nana. And then everything else, Tiger Belly on Instagram at Tiger Belly, on Twitter at The Tiger Belly, and emails, any questions at advice on helpful at gmail.com. Everyone, have a good night.